Now, my definition of prayer is simply communicating with God. And far too often, prayer becomes a complex issue for people. People are intimidated by it. They fear they can't do it well enough, or right enough, or long enough, or eloquently enough. And it's been my goal to dispel that kind of intimidation and make prayer accessible to everyone, and especially the purest form of prayer or communicating with God, which is praise and worship. And it's pure because when we praise God, it takes the focus off of ourselves and places it entirely upon Him. Praise draws us close to God and communicates our love for Him. When we praise God, we are the closest to Him that we can ever be. And the truth is, you become like what you worship. The more you worship God, the more you become like Him. Psalm 22.3 says, God lives in the praises of His people. That means every time we praise God, His presence comes to dwell in our lives in greater measure. And the most amazing thing about that is, in His presence, things change, always. Hearts change, minds change, attitudes change, lives change. You can count on it. Every time you praise God, something changes within you or your circumstances. That's because it's impossible to touch the presence of God and there not be change. That's because you are coming in contact with all that God is, and that will affect all that you are. That's why praise is the prayer that changes everything. And the hidden power of praising God is that there are certain blessings God wants to give us that will only come into our lives as we worship Him. In fact, when we worship Him, it becomes the very means by which God pours Himself into us. And isn't it just like our wonderful Lord to make something that is all about Him to be the thing that He uses to be our greatest blessing? God is all about changing us because He wants us to become more like Him. And we become more like Him every time we worship Him. God wants us to make praise and worship a way of life every day. Our first reaction to everything, good or bad, everything that happens in our life. But so often we forget to praise God, especially in the midst of tough times, the times we most need to see change happen. The reason those thoughts can get a hold in our mind is because we have not made praising Him a way of life. The reason we don't praise Him is because we don't understand who He is or who God really is, or we've forgotten, or we need to be reminded. In my book, The Prayer That Changes Everything, I talk about the things that are always true about God, no matter what is happening in our life. These are things we can forget when, when times are difficult. For example, God is a good God. And you may think, well, everybody knows God is good. But the truth is, many of us just don't know it we, in our heads, but we just don't know it in our hearts. We know it up here, but not here. We, we don't know it in our hearts when bad things happen. In other words, if you really believe that God is good, then you're never going to doubt it no matter what is going on. And the way to truly believe that God is good is to praise Him for His goodness. The more you praise God for His goodness, the more you will see it manifested in your life. And that is the hidden power of praising God. And another thing we often forget about God is that He is all-powerful. When we feel weakest, if we praise Him as our Almighty God, then we will see His power manifested in our lives. And one of the most wonderful things about God is that He shares Himself with us. He even shares His power. He gives us a way to do and to be things that we couldn't do and be on our own. 
God doesn't want us to live a life without power. He wants to empower us to live the life He has for us. In 2 Peter 1.3, it says that His divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness. It says that we have been given great and precious promises that through these we may be partakers of His divine nature. In other words, by the power of His Spirit living in us and enabling us, He gives us a way to become more like Him. And the most exciting thing about God being all-powerful is that it means with God, all things are possible. Knowing that makes you want to worship God, the all-powerful God of the universe. In fact, the more you know about who God is, the more you are unable to keep yourself from worshiping Him. Whenever we express our love for God in praise and worship, we open up the channel through, his, through which His love pours into our hearts. Now, you picture it like a, a, like a giant funnel, you know, a giant funnel. A funnel is used when you need to pour something greater into something smaller. And God pours Himself into us. He pours as much of Himself as we can contain. Our praise and worship invites His presence to come into our lives in a powerful way. And in the process, it breaks down any strongholds of negative emotions that we have in our heart. And that is the hidden power of praising God. So when you find the enemy of your soul trying to harass you, when the enemy tells you, you don't have what it takes, you're too weak, you can't do it, then praise God that He renews your strength like the eagles, that when you are weak, He is strong, that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. When things are growing wrong, when things are going wrong in your life, praise God that He can make all things right. And when you're weary and you, you can't go on, Praise God that He is your strength. And when you have great need, praise God that He's your provider. When you are fearful, praise God that He's your protector. And when bad things happen, praise God that He will bring good out of your situation. And when you feel overwhelmed by your circumstances, praise God that He is the God of the impossible. When you make worship, your first reaction to the things that happen, it will transform you and your circumstances. You were created to worship God. When you worship God, He breaks the chains that imprison you. He lifts you above your circumstances and your limitations. He breathes life into the dead areas of your existence. He transforms you and redeems your situation. He fills your empty places. He liberates you from bondage. He takes away your fear and your doubt. He opens your heart so He can pour into you His power, His love, His joy. He changes your, atti your attitude from when it's discontent to peace. I love that about Him. First Thessalonians says in 5.18, it says, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Every time you praise God, you are doing His will. So look at whatever you're facing and say, Lord, I praise you in the midst of this situation. And that will become the prayer that changes everything in your life. <laughs> 